many medical students and doctors are unconfident about approaching a patient with an eye problem, remembering little from their training apart from how difficult it was to perform fundoscopy. This is the first of 11 very short videos designed to give you more confidence uh, when faced with a patient in your clinic or ward. By the end of these 11 videos, I am hoping that you will know how to spell ophthalmology correctly, that you will be able to take a quick but structured history from your patient, that you will know how to test a visual acuity accurately and be able to communicate that to an ophthalmologist, and that you will be able to examine most of the eye without recourse to the much feared ophthalmoscope. The tenth video is an instruction on how to perform successful fundoscopy. Before we start though, as I've already alluded to, it is essential that if you want my help as an ophthalmologist, you must know how to spell ophthalmology correctly. In English, there is always a first H after the P, making two H's in total. If you do not know how to spell my profession, you might find that I'm less well disposed to you than I otherwise might be. Anyway, let's move on to the first of the videos, which is how to take a structured history in an ophthalmic patient.